If you're like us, you spend a lot of time on the internet looking for project cars, looking for new daily drivers. But with all those websites out there nowadays, which one is the best? Today, we're gonna look at three of these sites, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist, and find out which one of those three is the best for finding crap we shouldn't buy. I'm James, this is Jeremiah, this is Nolan, and this is the D-D-D-D-D-D-U-S. Big old thank you, Governor, to Amaze for sponsoring today's D-List. You know, I wish I had the power to give each and every one of you the car of your dreams. Now, I may not be able to do that, but I know Omaze can. Thanks to Omaze, you could win the car of your dreams. I'm talking about a Porsche Cayenne GTS Coupe, a Ford F250 fully customized by LG ECTS, or how about this sweet Dodge Demon? And not only does Omaze give you the chance to win these incredible cars, but every donation supports great causes like the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center. So what are you waiting for? Head over to omaze.com slash cars to check out some of the sickest cars. And while you're there, make a donation because who knows, you could win the car of your dreams. Okay, so the way this works is pretty simple. Our producers have put together a series of challenges to figure out which one is the best. We've all been assigned one of these. I am offer up. I have been assigned Facebook Mark Martin Place. And I have been assigned Greg's List. Okay, just right away, I haven't used Facebook in a while, okay? It's not um, good. Dude, Facebook is a mess these days. <laughs> I feel like offer up is sort of like the shadiest one. It's the more it's more of a back alley kind of deal. Craigslist, it used to be you could list cars on Craigslist for free and now they charge you money. Yeah. So yeah. the selection of cars over the last, I don't know, probably six months has dwindled because people don't want to pay to post their vehicle. Shall we get into it then? Let's get into it with our first challenge. Something you could live in under $5,000. Oh, oh God. No. Ooh, here we go. Okay, all right. Got a couple. The interface is kind of annoying so far. Ooh, this is nice. It's really, really bothering me, the interface with this. Yo. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. This is limiting. You have one minute and 37 oh, seconds. Oh, Goodness. come on. <laughs> and that's time. Okay, here's my submission from Facebook Marketplace. Ooh, yeah, E150, good one. What I really like about this one is that it has very low miles for how old it is. It's got 111,000 miles. You'd definitely be a little cold since you've used all your budget. <laughs> yeah, you'd freeze your ass off in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's similar, but better. This is my 1990 Ford Ooh. E150, another E150. This one is a conversion van, so I can sleep in it right off the bat. It's got the five liter V8, so it's basically a Mustang. <laughs> Three captain's chairs, a bench seat that turns into a bed electronically. This is definitely better than my pick, for sure. You guys ready for mine? Similar vein, conversion van, 2003 Dodge Ram 1500. Ooh, this is a good price. 3,300 bucks. Damn, this one's just nicer and cheaper than mine. It's got DVR, ice cold TV. <laughs> 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 this is really bitching, man. Nolan, you already said you like mine more than yours, and I think I like Jer's more than mine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take pick this one as my favorite for sure. All right, Craigslist gets five points for that one. Good job, Dang. Craigslist, good job. I'm actually sending this link to my girlfriend. The next challenge is the cheapest expensive car. All right, Maserati, here we go. No problem. Cheapest, let's, uh, can we sort by cheapest? Oh, dude, this is actually super sick. Found a pretty good one. I'm getting a lot of Chrysler TCs by Maserati. Ah, oh, come on, that's a Chrysler. I mean, it's got a Maserati badge on the back. It's not a Maserati though. Nolan, you just totally ruined the game. I found one for 250 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> time. Check this puppy out. Oh. oh. The Quattro Porte GT. Mine's way more expensive. It has wow. the Ferrari F1 engine, black on black. <laughs> it does not, by the way, it does not. <clears throat> yep. Guys, it has a Ferrari F1 engine, just. <laughs> Look who's selling yours, James. That does make it. <laughs> 
slightly cooler the fact that it is owned by Batman. Same goes for my car, also a Quattroporte, but only more expensive by $700. Damn, close. Okay, so Jeremiah won, but I would take Nolan's car over Jeremiah's. Can I get some, just a little bonus point? Yeah, I think we can give Nolan a bonus point. All right, guys, this is the I Know What I've Got challenge, the <laughs> most expensive, cheap car. Whoever wins this challenge will actually lose points. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. So basically, it's an indicator of who are the craziest people on which platform. So it has to be a non-M3? Correct. Oh my god, the settings on OfferUp on the computer are so bad. There we go. Here we go. Trying to figure out if this is a real M3. Okay, I've got my car. Yeah, yeah, I got my car. I do too. Go ahead, Jerry. Boom. $10,000 for that? Not the most desirable color. These aren't the bumpers you want. Ooh, uh -oh. salvage title. title. You suck. Uh -oh. This just became bonkers. All right, Nolan. Whoa. That thing's nice. This is like a car that you'd take to like Radwood and probably do really well. This car is cool, but it's not as expensive as this one. <laughs> oh, only one picture too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would think he would include more than one picture for his $40,000 car. I feel like people always try to recoup their project car costs on these sites and it's just not gonna happen. Like this car versus the Hartka, Nolan's car, this thing is just gonna keep deteriorating. All right, so have we determined that that is definitely the worst value of all of these? 100%. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. You get negative yeah. points now. I got <laughs> negative three <laughs> points! <laughs> Off a rock! The next category we have is wheels of fortune. Whoever can find <laughs> the best complete set of four wheels. I do have an abundance of choice, but which one is the best? We don't have a lot of choice. Uh, uh, uh. Now, Jeremiah gets to go to a whole section of Craigslist. Yeah, that is an advantage for sure. There we go, fellas. Brand Ooh. new set, time capsule wheels. These are the Brendan Fraser Encino Man <laughs> of wheels. Okay, here we go. Ooh, these are nice too. 80% tread on some new tires, centers powder coated, lips refinished and clear coated. That's pretty nice. All right, well, let's see if Nolan's breaks the tie. <laughs> Y'all want value? Yeah. yeah. Let's get this <laughs> value, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 300 bones, baby, for a full set. Those will polish up, no problem. Full set of wheels, $300. Facebook Marketplace had a lot of, of deals like this. I think Nolan wins. This next one is the Obscure Car Challenge. The winner will find one with the lowest mileage. Okay. Before we spin the wheel, Max, I just want to point out a cardinal sin of internet marketplace behavior, and that's posting a vehicle at one price and then putting a different price in the description. You'll see that on Facebook a lot because Facebook won't allow you to list your car if it's a certain amount over. Anyway, that's my diatribe. Sorry, continue, Max. My bad. Ooh. Oh, fun. I think Facebook is gonna come through for me on this one. I don't have anything, guys. I can't find any, not one. Okay, that's still my front runner. Oh my gosh, come on, Craigslist, don't let me down now. All right, well, that's time. I found a Via Cross in Powhatan, Virginia, with 80,000 miles. I like this car. I like a Via Cross yeah. nowadays. I found one in Pasadena, California. Yellow, with 41,000 miles on it. This thing's cool, dude. Eleven thousand dollars is a bit pricey, I think, yeah, for this car. Much, right. Especially for a car that I, I would be buying ironically. I couldn't find anything in the whole f United States of America. On Craigslist? Well, either way, James gets five points. 
for offer up. I think I'm in the positives now! We have reached our final challenge. Exhibit mode. Let's, Let's go! go! Let's go! Low rider. <laughs> I found a slab. Would you guys accept that? Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. What's a sl what's a slab? We were gonna do a low rider episode on B two B, and we talked to some dude. According to him, if it's not a six three or like or six four Impala, yeah. you're a nobody. <laughs> All right, guys, time is up. Okay. Yeah, that's a lowrider for sure. That is a lowrider, 100%. Look at all those batteries, baby. Yeah, dude, that's for the hydros. <laughs> 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 all right, I think mine is really cool. Facebook, I will say, has a good selection of both like nice lowriders, like the one I'm about to post, and starter cars. Oh, damn, that's sick. That thing is really cool. Unfortunately, not very many pictures, but yeah, it's- Yeah, what the hell, there's no- can they not give us more pictures? That thing is tight. That's actually a pretty good value too. I was expecting it to be way more money than that. Facebook Here. Marketplace coming through. Here is my official entry. Oh Ooh. man. Mm -hmm. This is a true, I think this Ooh. would be a pure low rider. Dude, this is so that nice. That thing is really, 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 really cool. Wow, look at Whoa. the etched freaking, dude. Look at the engine bay. It's like I said, Craigslist is so much better for old guy stuff. Long Beach Lloyd. No way! <laughs> That's the guy. All right, guys, this has been a lot of fun, but we've reached our final tally, and it's time to reveal our scores. Max? In third place is Offer Up with Ugh. two points. Two hard earned two. In second place with six points, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, dude. And then, of course, in first place with 15 points is Craigslist. The OG, yeah. the one that started it all. Shout out to Greg, dude. Oh. Oh, Dark Mode Joe, what's going on, man? Long time no see. Oh. Oh. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh. Man, he did look cool. Everybody can look as cool as Dark Mode Joe just by going to DonutMedia.com to check out our new limited edition Dark Mode Drop. We're doing the OG donut shirt, all black, but it's also reflective. So if you're hanging out in a trash can at night and somebody shines a flashlight on you, boom, they'll get hit with a reflective donut. Sweet. Then we've also got our Dark Mode Boost Creeps t-shirt, one of my personal favorites. Not reflective, so you can get away with some sneaky stuff in the dark. Uh, there's also a hat, right? We don't have it yet. Okay, well, apparently it's so dark you can't even see it. Limited edition donut stickers, OG logo in reflective black. Head over to donutmedia.com and snag yourself part of our limited edition dark mode drop. As for me, I'm gonna go hang out with JFK. If you guys like this video, hopefully we can do it again with different criteria. This can be a game that we play all the time. Let us know in the comments down below. I wanna thank Jeremiah for coming out. You can check him out on Tuesdays on Bumper to Bumper. Nolan, thank you. You can check him out on Mondays on Wheelhouse. I love you.